this year's Raw Materials Week and today's conference allow for inspiring discussions. We should not forget that the demand for some of these raw materials will definitely increase uh, exponentially and globally also in uh, the coming years. We have demonstrated in many areas that if we Europeans put our mind to it, if we are united, we can really achieve a lot in a short, short period of time. We all know raw materials are really essential to our everyday lives uh, and to our economy. They're essential to leading both the green transition and the digital transition. It's this working together, figure out how we can get that business case until 2030 for green and digital transition. The Raw Materials Week uh, is the main, most important week uh, to come together with all the different stakeholders, from the Commission, from the companies, from the NGOs. This issue has become so much more strategic, so much more political, and so much more connected to our Green Deal than it's ever been in the past. If you want to have a successful and a stable Green Deal, which also delivers jobs in Europe, we need to have a good and stable supply of raw materials. Yes, the technology exists, yes, we can do these nice green things, but they're more expensive. So how are we going to do it? We need to work by recycling and new materials, and that's very important so you get both aspects of what's needed. We must double down on renewables, energy efficiency, electrification of transport to actually be resilient and get away from polluting, toxic and antisocial uh, fossil fuels. The European citizens all over has to be responsible, has to be, how to say, informed about the consequences of the proliferation of these new technologies, which needs more and more raw materials. People need to understand that if you want to have a cell phone, if you need a wind turbine, you need critical raw materials. The vital part of this discussion is about um, having um, roadmaps, strategies for anticipating uh, change. Regulation will help to strengthen our position in mining industry for critical matters. There's a lot of challenges uh, and we just need to go one by one and take them on so that we can make progress. The positive messages for me are that I see that there is a lot going on. So there are small initiatives, there are really good practice examples of companies who actually apply circular strategies. Now the next step is on how to scale that up. We need to maintain dialogue between all stakeholders, the companies, the policy makers. Uh, it's not something that businesses alone can solve. Raw materials are back on the agenda in Europe. Transforming our industry to uh, address climate change is uh, an uh, absolute necessity both economic and social. Inaction is definitely not an option.